Welcome back to the show. Now, continuing with our fairy tale theme, we went along to meet David Jones, the man with a pretty impressive collection of classic cars. Cassus from Vintage has been around now for 15 years and uh, started with one car, which you'll see a little later. It's the blue one behind me. And from there, it has just been a passion. It's grown. Weddings are such happy occasions. Starting with the oldest car we've got, we've actually got in restoration, but it won't be available for another year or so, a 1909 Model T Ford, which will be absolutely stunning. After that, we have an Australian Buick, which was built in 1923. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to see that driving today because she's been a bit naughty and she's broken her engine. And uh, we pulled that out a couple of days ago and that's uh, now being repaired. After that comes the very first car I bought, which is uh, just behind me, the blue Oakland 1925. Extremely rare, believed to be the only one of its year and model to survive in the world. So uh, she's a bit special. After that, we've got a 1930 Hudson Essex, beautiful burgundy colored car. And all of these cars, the early ones are American for one very, very good reason. There's a huge amount of dress room because so many of the English cars have got very little leg room, consequently very little dress room. Although the next car that we got, 1934 Sunbeam, has a huge amount of legroom, which is very, very surprising for an English car of its period. Following on from that, we've got the real classic, which is the same as the Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud, except ours is the Bentley. Rolls-Royce says you've got money. Bentley says you've got class as well. With these cars, one of the things that uh, is very important at a wedding is the vintage car or a classic car because it adds so much style and class and when you arrive everybody looks everybody notices you if you're in an ordinary modern car with white ribbons on what are people going to think oh it's the bridesmaid or it's the bride's mum never the bride so these cars really do look fantastic particularly in the photographs well, we've got 17 cars all together so that was just a few of them but We've got everything that you need, from the really old, from the 1909, right through to the modern day, 2008. So there's something there for everybody. It doesn't matter what you're looking for in your car. We've got it. This is Maud. This is my 1925 Oakland, and she's my favorite. She's my favorite purely and simply because she's the first car that I ever bought in terms of vintage cars. She's very, very special to me. She's very, very rare. She is believed to be the only one of her model to survive anywhere in the world. Although there's bound to be one in a barn somewhere. As soon as I've said this, someone's gonna say, ah, oh, but I've found one. But okay, it should still be just as special to me. This is Dawn. She's my second favorite motor car. She's 1934 and she is a Sunbeam Dawn. She's a classic from the period. It was immediately after this year in 1935 that Sunbeam factory was sold to Roots, which ultimately went on to be Peugeot. And there's now believed to be only about 18 of these cars surviving. This is the most popular car that we have. It's the Bentley, it's the S2. The first of the Bentleys to have the big V8, six and a quarter liter engine in it. It is absolutely iconic. It is what those enthusiasts call the very last real Bentley because it had a proper chassis. The lines are absolutely fabulous. And this is the one that the girls go for the most. And well, just looking at her, you can see why.
A vintage car is the perfect way to arrive at your wedding in style. Thank you very much to David, an amazing collection of cars there. I'm in love with Maud and I'm convinced that one day she will be mine.